This canto from the dancer's craft was written after I had received a phone call from Moses Pendleton, who had spent the afternoon home alone in 2003. Coffee, quiet, afternoon, light crackles in the dining room. A shadow passes on the wall with cup in hand. The dancer's all alone at home this afternoon, his head as flooded as the room. On sideboards, crystals vibrate and sunflowers bear their breasts. Open books disclose their secrets in the place of dinner guests. The moon-faced clock in the corner has never been heard to chime. For 23 years, its painted lips have been sealed against the time. On the wall, Grandfather Moses, at the height of all his power, sits at his desk surrounded by men and flags and flowers. In ranks on every wainscot stand photographs three tiers deep. In every drawer, the faces of the past their features keep. The light turns slowly sepia. Images come in waves. The past swirls in a maelstrom. Every detail Moses saves. His house is a time treasury, a relic littered shrine. He plays a tape from 83 and voices flow like wine. It's his presidential palace where he or his double dwells. It's his private little paradise and home to his private hells. It's his personal chamber theater. It's his live-in movie set. The scene of his latest picture, only he hasn't released it yet. The dancer bends to read a book, the secret teachings of all ages. An alchemist returns his look, a shadow turns the pages.